So today, somewhat a little bit different. I, uh, I obviously said that the Escort was going to get built, didn't I, by October. But um, work just went absolutely mental and I haven't had a chance to get near it. Um, so as we're sort of edging towards Christmas, um, things have slowed down. I've got a Saturday to work on it. And you know what? I've been so busy the last couple of months. I'm sick of cars and anything related to them and don't want to go anywhere near cars. Um, so instead, I'm going to look at doing something that I've wanted to do for a long time, and that's build my own rifle stock. Now, I quite like tinkering with a rifle. It's one of my other things, as well as messing around with cars. And this is a uh, Second World War German K98K that I, uh, I played around with. It's actually an air rifle. Um, I bought um, a Mauser Diana K98 rifle um, and was really disappointed with it. It was really, really terrible quality. So what I decided to do, like every normal person, is um, get onto eBay Germany buy a genuine walnut stock, have it shipped over. It took a lot of restoring to get it back. It's still not perfect because this was a proper Russian captured um, Second World War rifle. So it needed a lot of work to bring it back. But um, this is all genuine metal work on it. Um, everything down here, like the, uh, obviously like the trigger guard, magwell, cover plate and everything, that's all genuine. Um, I machined this top receiver um, to give it uh, the shape to fill the stocks. Obviously, the receiver on the air gun was different. Um, I modified the bolt. This is a genuine safety and rear bolt. Uh, the bolt handle should be back here, but I relocated it forward. Um, as you can see, I machined, machined the, the top receiver out for that. Um, it's got a reproduction ZF-39 sniper scope on it. Um, I then had to um, make a barrel shroud to take it up to the correct 16 mil to then fit into the um, the original barrel band, muzzle band. Uh, it's got genuine rear sight on there, um, all the Waffen amps and everything still on it. And yeah, it's, um, it's quite a nice thing to be fair. Um, shoots well. Now, this had a bit of a tune. I've played with the hammer and everything, the hammer spring and the weight of the hammer in the back, and it does shoot really well now. But that said, I wanted to move on to something else um, and have a play with another rifle. So I bought this. Now, this is a bit of a weird one. It's a Artemis M30, and it's another multi-shot PCP rifle. But the air reservoir is actually around the barrel. So on most guns, you either have a separate air reservoir that runs underneath, or you have a buddy bottle, like my Crow Puncher Jumbo. On this one, this one's also got a reservoir, but it's a very slim reservoir and it runs down on the inside of the stock here. Um, so I had to um, machine down the, the, uh, the actual stock to get that in. Uh, and then, yeah, your fill probe is in the in the bottom there of the woodwork. Um, but with this one, the actual barrel itself is shrouded with the air tube through it, which means that it does actually look a little bit like a sort of classic sporting rifle. However, this stock is ugly. I mean, it's a very bland piece of beach that they've made ambidextrous, so there's no sort of... Um, there's no comb on it, basically, no raised cheek piece and everything. Um, and it's just a very, very generic, cheap beach stock, considering this is quite an expensive rifle. They're about 700 quid just for the bear rifle. Um, I didn't pay anywhere near that because I bought it second hand at an auction. Um, but it is regulated. Um, it is quite a nice platform to start on. But what I plan to do is... Um, well, I've got a plan anyway, is to make something like this, which is like a Wesley Richards type classic big game rifle, but that stock will not do. So 
I've managed to get hold of this, which is a nice thick slab of tiger wood. It's uh, Brazilian tiger wood, which is like a very, very dense, nicely grained hardwood, which I think will look really, really nice. So I've stripped down the action out of it, um, which I'll try and utilize as much as I can. I was thinking about reshrouding the barrel uh, to bring the size of the barrel down because it is a big, big barrel. It's 35 mil diameter, but it's going to complicate things then because it won't fit, obviously, the top of the receiver and it's all going to look a bit a bit strange because I do need to change some of this to give it the look that I want. But I've roughly, roughly put an outline of how I want the stock to be. I want to increase the uh, the pistol grip angle in it so it's more of a more of a sweep. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the comb and cheek piece here, but um, I think it's going to be one of those things that I'll adjust it and file it and machine it on the fly and uh, and see what happens. Now the inlet that I need to machine is 35 mil. I've only got a 32 mil end mil. And I also don't have a collet big enough to go in the mill. So, eek, let's uh, turn down this hardened end mill shaft. Wish me luck. Now, most machinists are gonna absolutely lose their shit that I'm doing this, but, because um, it's not the correct way to do it. However, it is the way that I'm gonna be doing it today. So, I've machined down this to fit in the biggest size collet I've got, which is 20 mil collet. Um, as I said before, it should be a 35 mil um, bull nose cutter that I should be using here, but I don't have one. Biggest size I've got is 32, and I'm not spending 60, 70, 80 quid on a cutter just to do this when I can just use the DRO, shunt him over a mil each side, and then finish it by hand. So, just going to mark, I've marked up the center line on here, true center of the wood. Um, so I'll, I'll chock it all up now, make sure that it runs true and then machine a 20 mil deep slot for the barrel air reservoir to sit in. And that gets machined all the way up to the back and then I'll put in a smaller milling bit um, to get into the corners and machine the trigger housing slot and then I'll finish it probably by hand with chisels to be fair. I'm going to do it this way around to be fair, I don't know if this is the right way to do it but um, the unfinished width of the stock here is 50 mil. Um, obviously the comb and cheek piece on this side is where I want the width and this has been machined flat. So I'm gonna machine this through the center, use this as my center line, and then I'll get the shape from that because I'll obviously have to take a little bit off each side, but I can always set it up on the bandsaw on the fence and just rip through a couple of mil to get it where I wanna do it. So I'm gonna do it this way and it's all a learning curve anyway, because I'm not a chippy, you know, I'm a metal monkey. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. So I've trapped my centre line through and um, it's all square in there. So time to start machining. To be fair, I could have done this in a single pass, I reckon, with this size uh, mill on this. But I don't want to split it or do anything silly. So I'm quite happy to just take a few, few gentle passes on it until I take it down the 20 mil that I need to. It's actually machining really, really nicely. So, rough the stock out to um, the sort of shape that I want. Um, the inlet in for the barrel went really nicely actually with that cutter. Um, so I still need to square it off to fit all the action in. But um, yeah, that went, that went really nice. Um, so now it will just be getting more of the shape. Um, I've not copied this one at all because I don't like the shape of the stock at all so what I've gone is I'm going to try and go more classic with a thinner thinner pistol grip through here um, and kick back at more of an angle and um, obviously a higher comb on here and uh, yeah just see how we get on with it going to freestyle it a little bit but um, yeah see what we end up with so end of the first day um, I've spent probably about four hours on it in total to be honest um this is where we're at i've just started to inlet the uh the stock so we'll take the action um started to get a little bit of shape in the actual stock itself um actually really enjoying doing this to be fair something a bit different so um 
obviously going to shape this right round at the nose here. And then obviously decide then the sort of width of the, uh, the pistol grip and how I'm going to go about shaping, shaping all this back end in. But yeah, so far, um, so far not too bad. Hopefully get some more time on it uh, next week. Try and get the action in it so then I can start um, working down the main shape of it.